Perfect. All right. Hi, everybody. It is Monday, June 28th, 2021. It is Manifestation Monday, and I am just so grateful to welcome you here. This week, we are looking at money. We are looking at manifesting money instantly, and we are also looking at releasing the emotions tied to money because that's what keeps everything flowing, right? How we feel, right? And it's how we, um, how we vibrate at when in regards to money or the thing that we're manifesting so what's really important about manifesting and i want you guys to open up the chat also and go ahead and type 1111 in the chat if you are open to stepping up your let's say your skills in manifesting go ahead and type 1111 if you're ready to do that because this is this is really like the next i feel like it's like the next level of of leveling up in the world that we are shifting into is looking at energy and looking at manifesting and looking at the invisible stuff that you can't like physically touch but bringing what's invisible into the physical and that's like the whole thing of manifesting yay i'm seeing 11 11s in the chat um we are looking at really like what, what is, what is it that we want? And when I say we, I mean like our soul, like our real self, right? Cause we have different versions of us, right? Who are showing up in the world, but what is it that we actually truly want? What is it that we want to manifest? And I want to ask you guys, um, have you guys watched the, I think the, the law of attraction, the secret movie, dare to dream with Katie Holmes in it. If you have go ahead and type yes in the chat. Um, type yes in the chat if you've watched the Katie Holmes movie, The Secret. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so this weekend, Jason and I actually watched it for the first time. And I was like, wow, yes. It was just like, yes, the entire, the entire time. It was just like, yes. The, and that movie, if you are interested in looking for another voice or another story or another way to look at manifesting in the law of attraction, that movie is actually really like well written and well executed because of the realness of it it wasn't like like all this magical stuff happened it's like that's how it happens when you live in the flow so today we're going to dive into what that flow looks like what that flow feels like and how to release anything that isn't bringing you into your flow right there's so many of us who are stuck who are stressed out who are confused who are worried who are anxious about money who are who are saying like well i don't have it now so and then you get stuck in, in this now reality where the manifesting actually happens in a, a non-linear space. So we're going to dive into that. And I also want you guys to keep in mind, you know, what, what is it about money that you want? What is it about money that it's going to bring you? And just kind of have that in the back of your mind. Um, and it's perfect timing because right now it is 11:11 here in Hawaii. So I will ask you guys who are present to go ahead and type 11:11 in the chat. It is 11:11. Two sets of ones, which is representing two doors that are opening for you. Two doors that are opening for you to walk through. This is an opportunity. Every time you see 11:11 or hear 11:11, go ahead and take that as a sign for you to wake up to this present moment and and know that this is an opportunity. This is a now. This is a time and space for you that's opening up. You're calling this in. Now it's your turn to walk through it. Okay. Now it's your turn to walk through it because you're the one receiving the 11:11. And I'm saying it over and over again. Ah, it's 11:11 on the my recording too. Um, it's time. It's time and you're calling it in. So it's time to accept it. It's time to say, okay, and say yes to it. And then say yes with your actions. Okay. So move into the space that you're calling yourself into move into the space that you want so badly to live in. And with that, um, I also want to let you guys know that uh, I am having this call today and then next week we're not going to have the call we're taking a day off for the holiday and the kids are going to be home so I'm going to be with them and then we're going to reconvene on Monday the I think it's the 12th so two weeks from now okay 
Um, but I send you all the good manifestation vibes for the next two weeks. And now let's go ahead and bring ourselves into this moment, into today, whatever today is, whether it is the morning, afternoon, or evening for you. And whenever you are watching the replay, whatever this current moment is for you, okay? So um, I, and just like my other calls, I will go ahead and pause the recording. These meditations and ground and centers are just for those who arrive and attend live. So here we go. And then I will see you in a few. So after that beautiful ground and center of allowing ourselves to come to this moment, we are now feeling in this room a shift, an energetic shift of feeling calm, relaxed, confident, focused, grounded, connected, and centered. And so much more being unsaid, but feeling even now, even seeing me, how I'm connected to you guys, like, ah, I'm here. And I did, I did have a little like something or other in my throat and that just cleared away after all of that. So what I'm getting is there is a, I'll say collective or a, a group of us on this planet who may have a hard time speaking our truth or expressing expressing our truth or expressing how we feel. And that's just like a general thing. So just know that if you feel that way in any way, shape or form, you're not alone. And like, I'm going through this too, right? There's so many big shifts right now happening with everything in the world. But what that is, is it's a reflection of the, the shift in um, like in paradigms and the shift in belief systems and the, and the shift in, in energy and, and, and how people interact with each other. Okay. So basically there's a shift from being individualistic and everything is me and, and, and me, you know, me, 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 and, and, and you're away over there to a collective, right? To a group, to, Hey, we're in this together. Hey, I'm going to do my part and you're going to do your part and we're going to work together. And this big thing's going to happen. This big shift, this big mission, this big I don't know what it is, right? We're just all moving forward to it. So I commend you guys for staying true to following the polls that you are receiving and knowing that like learning how to release the emotion from money, this isn't for everybody, at least not yet. And because you're here or because you're watching the replay, you're, you're ready for it. You're ready to look at this stuff, this foundational stuff, because you're here as a leader, you're here as a business owner, you're here as an entrepreneur, you're here as a parent, you're here as a role model of some sort, a leader in the world in some way where you've got to lead the pack, right? You've got to do things the way that others don't because you're actually paving a new path for your future, for your legacy, okay? So I clap for you and I am... Truly honored to be walking this path with you, with the other leaders. And we're, we're all in this together. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter what rank you have or what job title you have or how long you've been in a certain place. That's just what it looks like in the 3D, okay? And as we shift higher into the, the next earth that is coming, it's all about the people and how we come together to make things happen. Um, so with that, I want to ask you guys, what is it that you're manifesting? And this is a question from the, the secret movie. It's really like, how clear can you be about what you're manifesting? Okay. So you can type it in the chat if you want, but I really want you guys to write the answer down in your notebook. Okay. So the question is, what are you manifesting or what do you want? What do you really want? So go ahead and take a few moments and answer that question right now. And if you don't know the answer to what you're manifesting, then how are you going to get it? Okay. I use this analogy I want to say all the time, but it's, it's one that seems to work the best. It's when you pull up 
to the drive through or when you go to the restaurant and they ask you for your order, do you say food? Or do you actually say the, the, the exact dish or main course or side order or drink with however many pumps of whatever you want in it, right? What do you do? Are you super vague or are you super clear, okay? What, what is it? How can you word what you want so clearly that there is no question as to what you're calling in? Okay. Antonella's going to pass three exams. Yes. Yes, she is. See, she's calling it in. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So that's an exercise for you guys to do as you practice leveling up your manifestation skills is get super, super clear. Okay, so get super, super clear. And what we're looking at today is how do you feel about the thing that you're manifesting, right? So if you're manifesting money, right? If you're manifesting um, 100,000 US dollars, how does that feel? How do you feel about that? Is it scary? Is it exciting? Is it peaceful? Is it relief? Is it stressful? Uh, is it angry? Like, is it like, I'm gonna get it right like how how does that feel okay so an example so passing three exams how does that feel does that feel stressful does that feel exciting does that feel peaceful right does that feel joyful and it's just looking at the thing that you wrote in your notebook and then asking yourself how do I feel about that okay so how do I feel so beneath what you're manifesting go ahead and write down how you're feeling about it okay and it's okay if it's scary it's okay if it's um, if you're worried about it, it's okay if you're anxious about it, but you have to get clear. You have to be real with yourself. Okay. You can't, um, if you, you know, like, what's the word? Like if you're lying to yourself, it's, it's, it's going to show up later. Okay. So the work in becoming your future self is, and becoming your higher self is becoming more honest with yourself. Yay, excited and full of happiness, good. And if what you're looking at is scary, like let's say $10 million, right? Like, oh my God, like that's a lot of energy. Remember, money is energy. Go ahead and write that down. Money equals sign energy. Money equals energy. That's all that it is. Everything in this universe is energy, which is why it's important to look at the feelings behind it. Why? Because when we're manifesting, we live in the 3D, right? We live in the physical. So everything that we're doing, this type of work is non-physical. We're basically looking at rearranging stuff upstairs so that when it comes down, it's exactly what we want, right? When we go to the drive-thru, they're not physically there. It's like a speaker. So you're like speaking into the 5D and then it doesn't matter how it happens. You just drive up about 10 or 20 feet and then you put your hand out and then the food that you want ends up in your hand, right? It's the same thing with manifesting. You have to be really clear over there in the microphone so that when you do stay on your path, okay? When you stay on your path, you stay in the drive through lane and you go forward, that thing is just gonna show up. But if you're worried about how it's made and how long it is and all these things, then uh, that just takes you out of, out of your spot, okay? So, feel really find ways to feel good about what you're asking so that you can move forward in your journey feel really good about what you're asking for so that you can continue to move forward in your journey i just said it twice so that it helps to sink in um most people are getting stuck on the amount that they're manifesting um or the negative reason why they're manifesting it. So now we're really gonna shift into money. But again, you can use this for anything in your life. Today, we're looking at money. Um, too many of us are, uh, we're thinking small. We're wishing small, we're playing small. We are manifesting just enough to pay our bills, to get us to the next month, to get us to the next year, or to get us past a certain time in our life. But if you can manifest anything, and if you're an infinite being, why are you going to just manifest $10,000? Or why are you just going to manifest $20,000? Why, right? What is keeping you from playing big? What is keeping you from playing, like, 
like actually taking those actions that's going to bring you out of where you are and into the next level of you. What is so scary about leaving where you're at and jumping to where you want to be? Ah, feel that? That is the, that is the kind of like the glitch in your matrix. It's like, ah, there's something here. I didn't know that I could dream big, right? I didn't know. I didn't know that I could. I didn't know that I could manifest infinite possibilities and infinite sources of income. Nobody told me. Well, yeah, no one's going to tell you because not everybody knows that they can. So remember that you are infinite. So go ahead and write in your notebook. I am infinite. Where's my pen? I will join you in here. I am infinite. There's more coming. I am infinite. I, capital A, am. I am infinite. Infinite. And because I am infinite, capital A, I can manifest infinitely, infinitely, I am infinite and because I am infinite, I can manifest infinitely. Yeah, that makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. The problem is people think that they're limited People think that they can't. And a lot of people think that they shouldn't. And a lot of people think that they have to. And then finish, you know, finishing all those prompts. But who tells us that? Our parents, society, mainstream media, our friends, our family, our neighbors, strangers, and and social media and people on the internet. And Let's say like news. Oh, there, there's a big one, news, right? And there's more. But those people don't know who you are, really, because only you know who you are and even we're all discovering who we truly are. So when we can like step out of all of that, should need to have to, all that, and just like put it over there because it's not relevant here. Just put it over there and step into your infiniteness knowing that you can connect to your body and you can connect to your heart because and you can observe it because you're you're part of that and you could do anything that you want then that opens up a whole <laughs> 11 11 opens up a whole other world of possibilities where there are no limits and what is that kind of life like that's for you to explore um so how exciting is it for you to know that you can manifest infinitely. How exciting is it for you to know that you don't have to put a number on how much money that you want to manifest, knowing that money is just energy. There's no cap. How exciting is it for you to know that you can manifest infinite possibilities for income to come to you while you're sleeping? How exciting is it for you to know that you can pass any exam that you want? How exciting is it for you to know that you can attract any kind of love that you want? How exciting is it for you to know that you can live anywhere in the world that you want? How exciting is it for you to know that there are no limits to what you can manifest because the only limits that there are is the ones that you place on yourself? How exciting is it for you to know that you can lift off those limitations? How exciting is it for you to know that you can lift off those limitations and you can leave them behind and you can start creating a new life and a new path for yourself moving forward? How exciting is that for you to know that you're fully supported no matter what, because there is a collective of people all over the world, just like you, who want to see you win and who know that money is just energy and that they can create anything they want. And because they can, so can you. How exciting is that? Okay, type 888 if you are ready to bring that into your life. Type 888 if you know that what I'm saying is true and type 888 if you your soul is like drooling over this world that we can call in together. And the beauty about eights is that when you turn it on its side, it becomes infinite. And that's that's who we are, right? That's who we are. So remember that you're infinite, no matter what the news is saying, no matter what social media is saying, no matter what your parents are saying, there is no should. Should comes from lack. 
and and small small smallness okay trying to put you in a box um i read er, some sometime in the last 24 hours about poor mindset. And I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but poor mindset is passing over opportunities repeatedly. I'm going to write this down. Poor, P-O-O-R, poor mindset is passing over opportunities repeatedly. Ooh, I felt that. I felt those chills. And I felt that when I read it myself too. And I was like, whoa, it's not just not having enough money, but it's about not being open to receiving. A poor mindset is about things not being good enough for you. You're not going to take it. But you know what? It's like, don't judge a judge. Don't judge a cover by it. What? Don't judge. <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover because you never know what's inside. Just like, you know, people and book, people, people will, like that's just the nature of living in the 3D. Um, but because you're on this path of stepping out of the shoulds and creating your own, you know, world and legacy moving forward, it's now it's time to, oh, there's a rock. Okay, let's lift it up and see what's under it, right? It's not something like, oh, it's in my way, great. It's like, oh, there's something here. So lift it up, look under maybe, um, you know, if you're at a tide pool, maybe there's a starfish or maybe there's like a squid and and like, it's really, really cool. Um, but it's, oh, oh, here, here you guys go. Rocks are not blocks. I need to write that down. Rocks are not blocks. And if you know me, rocks are my friend. <laughs> I just love crystals. I've got two of them right here. Um, no, rocks are not blocks. They're actually um, tools. They're actually, um, they're like gifts. There's there's always like something, a, a message or a, a present or uh, or something, right? And, and if the rock is like huge, like so big that you actually can climb on it, maybe it's part of your path to climb the rock. And when you get to the top, you're gonna be able to see where you're going. Who knows? It's your path, right? So, so take those, um, take those blocks, take those obstacles, and look at them with a different lens, your infinite lens, and be like, hey, there's something here. Let's take a look and see what it is. So today we're gonna dive into um, emotions um, because this is like the driving force behind the manifestations. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of Kyle Cease, but he wrote this book called The Illusion of Money. Um, Kyle Cease, he was a um, comedian and then he like woke up and now he's a motivational speaker. He's an author. Um, I highly recommend you guys either get the book and or just type his, write his name down in your notebook and just for your homework for the next two weeks, watch his YouTube videos watch his YouTube videos. Um, he talks a lot about breaking the cycles and breaking paradigms of thought and really like getting down to the, the juicy like bits of who you are, who you're not and looking at money as, as what it really is. It's really a, it's really a construct. Okay. So we're going to look at this today. Um, I want to share with you a quote that I just randomly opened to earlier today and what he says in, if you have the book, it's on page 28. Hi, Christine. Her favorite number is 28. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It says, um, this is how we create actual freedom. A huge business and income can show up, but if you're not connected to yourself first, you'll have no foundation and will become attached to the external temporary thing more than to your internal source of actual abundance. And that lack of foundation will likely cause your business and finances to collapse because your business and income will almost always match what you're feeling inside. So you have to find the foundation inside first. Oh, okay. Follow the feeling. This is what Abraham Hicks talks about all the time. Follow the feeling because if the feeling is strong and it's excited and full of happiness, the universe will support that. But if there's even like a shadow of doubt, even if there's like a little like hint of fear, if there's um, like a little scribble of anxiety, that's also going to magnify 
along the path. And what those negative emotions do is they repel the thing that you want. Because money is energy. Money is high vibrational energy. That's what it is. So in order for you to manifest it into your life, you have to feel all of those things that money is. Remember, money is energy. And it's whatever energy you want in it. So if there's like low, let's say low example, if there's a low vibration to money where like you need it to like fill your empty cup, let's say, um, so then the money is in your cup, right? But then the, the, the energy in your cup goes down and you imagine that your money, is that fun for you to go fill somebody else's cup and then deplete? No, like that's not fun, right? You're looking, your money. You're looking for someone who has a full cup, who feels really good, excited, joyful, free, abundant already, and they want to use money as the tool that it is. Hi, money, I'm a tool. And this person's like, hey, I want to use my money to do this and do this kind of good in the world and do this and make these people happy and do this and add more light to the world. Money's going to be like, yeah, I like that idea. How do I find you right now? I want to jump into your pocket. Okay. So imagine that you're on the other side of the manifestation, okay? It's not just you calling it in because you're not good enough or because you don't have enough money. Like money's like, mm, is there anybody else who's looking for me? Right? So how to separate the emotion, negative emotion from money is to look at yourself on the other side of that transaction, the other side of that exchange, okay? Look at yourself feeling anxious, feeling depressed, feeling not good enough, not rich enough, not abundant enough, not worthy enough. And then check in with money and be like, do I want to be with that person right now? And then whatever answer it is for you, you're going to know what, if you stay in that vibration, you're going to know what's going to happen. You're going to know what the likelihood of that outcome will be. Okay. Um, so here, here are some affirmations for you guys for this week. Um, it is, oh, I am free to manifest anything I want. I am free, capital A, I'm free to manifest anything I want. Um, Next one, it is safe for me to feel good. It is safe for me to feel good. Okay. And then affirmation number three is I am learning. I am learning how to manifest. I am learning how to manifest infinite, infinite sources of let's say infinite sources of let's just say income and when I say income it could be money it could be love it could be freedom right? Because it's incoming. Okay. So you're learning how to manifest infinite sources of the incoming energy that you want. Ah! My intention with these calls is to empower you guys to know that there are no limits to how you manifest. There are no limits to how much you can manifest. And there are no limits to to who you can become as you step into that higher version of you manifesting anything that you want. I'm not the same person I was on the last call last week. And I know that you guys aren't too. If you're on this journey, you are ever expanding, ever growing and just open to receiving. And so I'm grateful that you continue walking forward on this journey with me as I walk forward in mine. Um, and I'm going to give you guys this opportunity right now in the chat to retype the three affirmations that you're going to review and 
touch on in the next two weeks. Okay, so go ahead and type the three affirmations right now to help ground today in learning how to separate the negative emotion from the thing, money, that you're looking to call into your life. So go ahead now and type those three in. I am free to manifest anything I want. It is safe for me to feel good. And I am learning how to manifest infinite sources of income. Yay, capital A's. I am. Yes. And we say it again. I am free to manifest anything I want. It is safe for me to feel good. And I am learning how to manifest infinite sources of income. Yay! <clears throat> there we are. Yeah! All right. So I want to know, I want a little bit of feedback from you guys who are here. Is this helping you? Is this helping you feel more confident in your manifesting abilities? And is this going to help you with your business, with your work, with whatever it is, with your projects, whatever that you're working on? Is this going to help you release the shoulds, the have to, the need to, is all of that stuff. Is this going to help you step more into you? Go ahead and type yes if this is going to help. I hope that it does. Um, I hope that it does because, like, look, this is me just like shining my light. This is me like just being the lighthouse and saying, like, hey, we could do this. Let's go team. So I'm collecting, I'm collecting us. And I would love for you guys to share uh, my calls on, on these Mondays. Thank you guys. Um, if you have a team or an organization or uh, friends who are looking to learn more about manifesting and law of attraction, send them here. Like they're free. They're every week. I do post the, the replays on YouTube, but they're missing, you know, the piece that shows up in real time. So I'm just super, super grateful for you. I love you guys. And I send you guys all the good vibes. Just know that when you're feeling bad or like anxious, depressed, nervous, upset, um, all those things, angry, fearful, that's not you. Most likely it's, it's stuff that you've um, subconsciously collected and put into what I call your backpack um, throughout the day, throughout the week. Okay. So if you're feeling bad, most likely it's not you, okay? Um, so I just wanna end with that. Um, so have a great two weeks and I will see you in two weeks, yay. So stay tuned um, on my Instagram. I'm gonna be sharing more about like my next call and then also my launch. So I am launching my courses. Finally, we're just looking at the techie details. It is um, my, my wait list if you haven't been on there yet. It's lazellezieger.com with a www dot in front of it. But my waitlist is only going to be up for the next few days and then we're going to close it so that we can revamp my website and then allow everything else to show up with the course and all that stuff. So I'm super excited to reveal that and let you guys know you're like first in the world to hear about it. And again, this is like just the beginning of this journey of really waking up the world and letting them know like, hey, you're more than what everybody else has said. Like, let's go do this. So I'm so happy for you. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Love you. Happy manifesting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>